If you are looking for a guide to the most stunning sections of the Donegal coastline, then you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 favourite bits of the Donegal coastline. And at the end, I've got a bonus thrown in, a beautiful place that you have to visit. Doesn't quite make the list because it's inland, but it's worth a stop all the same. Ireland, the Emerald Isle. Best known for its potatoes, St. Patrick's, leprechauns, foul mouthed humour, rugged coastline, and of course, the rain. But don't worry, most of the time the rain isn't this bad, it's worse. But for those bold enough to risk it, the luck of the Irish will be in your favour. For when the sun shines, she glows, and she lights our beautiful coastline up along with her. County Donegal is the most northwesterly point of Ireland and marks the beginning of the Wild Atlantic Way. It is a must for any visit to Ireland and here are the reasons why. It was unbelievably hard to pick a number one, but for me, my favourite place in Donegal is Harry's Hole. This little cliff jumping spot gets to occupy the top of the list because I honestly have an unreal time every single time I go. Whether you are an adrenaline junkie or this is your first time cliff jumping, Harry's Hole in Dunfanaghy will have the level of cliff jumping for you. And as a bonus, it's just around the corner from Marble Beach where you can rent paddleboard, kayaks. It also has some of the most crystal blue water that you will see in all of Ireland. Number two on our list is Largy Waterfall. This is truly a magical spot. Also known as the Secret Waterfall, which is nothing more than a marketing trick at this point because literally everybody knows about it. You can find out exactly how to get there on Google. And when you do show up, it's likely to be quite crowded. This is because you can only actually visit at low tide. But I can tell you now, it's definitely worth planning into your Donegal visit because it is spectacular. I definitely have a compulsive need to get underneath every single waterfall I see and we were actually the only ones crazy enough to do it and it was so worth it. But I will tell you, even in the height of summer, that icy water still gave me brain freeze. Hell of an adrenaline rush though. Holding the number three spot on our list is the equally mysterious, equally hard to get to Murder Hole Beach. This is tucked away at the top of the Downing Peninsula. The murder hole is not the easiest to get to and not really suitable for those who have limited mobility either. But those looking for an adventure, you are in the right place. You must begin your journey at Trana Rossen Beach, hike over the headlands to reach the murder hole. The prize is definitely worth the effort. It was the peak of summer again when we visited and there was only two other people on the beach. You can explore the murder hole yourself and decide how you think the beach got its name. I promise number four on our list is easier to get to. Still slightly off the beacon track, we've got Bella and the Stocker Strand. This forms part of Bella and the Stocker Bay, which goes from Port Salon Town across to this viewpoint. And it was once voted the second most beautiful beach in the world by the Observer newspaper. Hipped only by some beach in the Seychelles, but I mean, who cares about that? This bay is split into three by the topography. The first two are real tourist attractions. However, this third one is a little oasis and is the one that you want to go to. A little bonus thrown in here. I haven't got a video of it, but if you go to the Port Salon end, there is a pier that is absolutely perfect for jumping off at high tide and is loads of fun. Sitting at number five, we have got Ard's Forest Park Beaches. This is all part of the Forest Park and you'll want to be parking at Ard's Friary to reach this beach. Another stunning beautiful beach and as you probably expect at this point it's going to take a little bit of a walk to get there. This one is about 20 minutes but it's pretty easy going. This bay is really sheltered which makes the waters toasty warm. Well Slightly less cold than the rest of Ireland, let's put it that way. You can also wild camp here, which will give you plenty of time to explore all of the little private beaches and the magical nooks and crannies dotted all around the Ards coastline. For number six, we are flying back to South Donegal to the beautiful and tranquil Anne Port. 
You can go for a dip, as at the Pebble Beach you avoid getting sand in all the places that you don't want sand. Break out the kayak and explore the sea arches along the rugged coastline, or take it all in from above like we did from the top. You can see the breathtaking sea views and also the Irish countryside behind you, which pretty much looks like it's been unchanged for the last hundred years. Just around the corner from Anport, we have Silver Strand, and this is holding our seventh place on this list. It is a picture perfect beach, sealed off and sheltered, and is an absolutely lovely place for a dip or maybe some paddle boarding if you fancy it. Be warned, however. We are not the only locals who love this spot and you might find a little squishy friend or two want to join you as you paddle around. So if jellyfish freak you out, be like Betsy and Yine and get your wetsuit on. At number 8 we have Doe Castle. This is an absolutely stunning castle steeped in history and is well deserving of a spot on this lake. If you have a kayak or even a paddle board, I would highly recommend viewing this castle from the water, probably at high tide. At low tide, all of the water just leaves this bay. The castle tells its own story, which you can follow from the plaques on the inside. And if all that exploring works up an appetite, there is a great little coffee shop to pick up a drink, a snack, and maybe some local art. Horn Head claims the ninth spot on this list. This is in Dunfanny and is home to 600 feet cliffs with a 270 degree view of the coastline, nearly panoramic and is an absolutely beautiful place to take in the view. You can do this by walking out to the church ruins, but if you're short on time, there are lots of viewpoints along the way scattered around the Hornhead driving loop. As promised, at number 10 and closing out this list, we have our bonus feature, that is Asaranka Waterfalls. This stunning spot is honestly one of my favorite places in Donegal. The water cascades down off the cliff edge into a large pool right at the bottom. And for a change, no walk necessary. Right by the side of the road, there's a nice little car park where you can pull in, take in the views, or if you're mad like us, jump in for a dip. I loved it, I would highly recommend it. And if you need to summon up all your bravery and adventurous spirit to do it, I think it'll really make your day. I hope this list has given you loads of places to add to your Donegal bucket list. If you like this content, chuck a thumbs up in there just so that I know this is the sort of stuff that you guys like to see. And if you would like to follow along on our next adventure, hit subscribe and we will take you along with us wherever we go in the world. Until next time, happy adventuring!